Hi again everyone and welcome to another episode of Gospel and Spade. Today we will continue our overview of the geography of the Holy Land by examining the Plain of Sharon in western Israel. The Plain of Sharon is situated between the Mediterranean Sea in the west, Mount Carmel and the river Tainanim in the north, the hill countries of Manasseh and Ephraim in the east, and the river Yerkon and the plain of the Philistines to the south. The coastal plain is 30 miles in length and 10 miles in width at its widest point. This plain is very flat and fertile. However, in biblical times, the region was swampy as a result of three Kirkair ridges that ran parallel to the sea and which prevented water from the hill country in the east draining into the sea in the west. However, the Romans began to attempt to drain the area in antiquity by cutting through these Kirkair ridges. In modern times, the area has since been completely drained. The swamps were so difficult to pierce through in ancient times that the international highway, the Via Maris, was forced to divert to the east of the plain and close to the eastern hills so as to avoid the swampy terrain altogether. The region, according to Joshua 17, was a pair of the tribal allotment of the tribe of Manasseh. The plain of Sharon was apparently used by the Israelites in the Old Testament period as a place to raise and graze cattle, according to 1 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 29. Though, since the modern drainage of the plain, it has now become famous for its citrus crops. The major biblical city in the region was the Roman provincial capital and man-made port of Caesarea Maritima in the north of the plain. This city is notable as it became the home of Philip the Evangelist and was visited by both the apostles Peter and Paul. In fact, Paul was also held in custody here by the Romans before travelling on to Rome. These events can be found recorded in the New Testament book of Acts from chapter 8 verse 40 onwards. Thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.